You are watching Pearl Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. There's a lot of buzz around artificial intelligence at the moment, and the term AI seems to be thrown around a lot. But what is it exactly? To clear things up, I just wanted to do a quick video around this topic. First of all, let's look at the definition. To avoid confusion, we have to go back to the earliest and hence purest definition of AI from the time when it was first coined. The official idea and definition of AI was first coined by Jay McCartney in 1955 at the Dartmouth Conference. Of course, there was plenty of research work done on AI by others such as Alan Turing before this, but what they were working on was an undefined field before 1955. Okay, so here's what McCarthy proposed. Quote, Every aspect of learning, or any other feature of intelligence, can in principle be so precisely described that a machine can be made to simulate it. An attempt will be made to find out how to make machines use language, form abstractions and concepts, solve kinds of problems now reserved for humans, and improve themselves. Translation in essence, AI is a machine with the ability to solve problems that are usually done by us humans with our natural intelligence. A computer will demonstrate a form of intelligence when it learns how to improve itself at solving these problems. To elaborate further, the 1955 proposal defines seven areas of AI. Today there's surely more, but here are the original seven. 1. Simulating higher functions of the human brain. Two programming a computer to use general language. 3. Arranging hypothetical neurons in a manner enabling them to form concepts. 4. A way to determine and measure problem complexity. 5. Self-improvement. 6. Abstraction, defined as the quality of dealing with ideas rather than events. 7. Randomness and creativity. After 60 years, I think realistically, we've completed the language, measure of problem complexity, and self-improvement to at least some degree. However, randomness and creativity is just starting to be explored. This year, we've seen a couple of web episode scripts, short films, and even a feature-length film co-written or completely written by AI. They don't really make sense, but here's a few snippets for your entertainment anyway. I need to leave, but I'm not free of the world. Yes, perhaps I should uh, take it from here. I'm not gonna do something. It's not a dream, but I've got a time to stay there. Well, I still think you could be back on the table. It's a damn thing scared to say. Nothing. It's going to be a thing. From not make is so longer of the face in the comprised. And a person is what the world on the country of have the construction of the mic could to person in front are and how they deal to part of them. Okay, so in the definition, you heard the word intelligence. What is intelligence? Well, according to Jack Copeland, who has written several books on AI, some of the most important factors of intelligence are Generalization learning, that is, learning that enables the learner to be able to perform better in situations not previously encountered. Reasoning, to reason is to draw conclusions appropriate to the situation in hand. Problem solving, given such and such data, find X. Perception, Analyzing a scanned environment and analyzing features and relationships between objects. Self-driving cars are an example. Language understanding. Understanding language by following syntax and other rules similar to a human. Okay, so now we have an understanding of AI and intelligence. To bring it together a bit and solidify the concept in your mind of what AI is, here's a few examples of AI. Machine learning, computer vision, natural language processing, robotics, pattern recognition, and knowledge management. There are also different types of artificial intelligence in terms of approach. For example, there's strong AI and weak AI. Strong AI is simulating the human brain by building systems that think, and in the process, give us an insight into how the brain works. We're nowhere near the stage yet. Weak AI 
is a system that behaves like a human but doesn't give us an insight into how the brain works. IBM's Deep Blue, a chess playing AI, was an example. It processed millions of moves before it made any actual moves on the chessboard. It doesn't stop there though, there's actually a new kind of middle ground between strong and weak AI. This is where a system is inspired by human reasoning, but doesn't have to stick to it. IBM's Watson is an example. Like humans, it reads a lot of information, recognizes patterns, and builds up evidence to say, hey, I'm X percent confident that this is the right solution to the question that you have asked me from the information that I've read. If you want to know more on IBM Watson, you can click on the annotation now or the link in the description below. Google's deep learning is similar as it mimics the structure of the human brain by using neural networks but doesn't follow its function exactly. The system uses nodes that act as artificial neurons connecting information. Going a little bit deeper, neural networks are actually a subset of machine learning. So what's machine learning then? Machine learning refers to algorithms that enable software to improve its performance over time as it obtains more data. This is programming by input-output examples rather than just coding. So that this makes more sense, let's use an example. A programmer would have no idea how to program a computer to recognize a dog but he can create a program with a form of intelligence that can learn to do so. If he gives the program enough image data in the form of dogs and let it process and learn, when you give the program an image of a new dog that it's never seen before, it would be able to tell that it's a dog with relative ease. Okay, so before we finish, just one last concept. Most artificial intelligence algorithms are expert systems. So what's an expert system? The often cited definition of an expert system is as follows. An expert system is a system that employs human knowledge in a computer to solve problems that ordinarily require human expertise. Basically, it's the practical application of a knowledge database. We've arguably only just got the first proven non-expert system this year. DeepMind's AlphaGo. AlphaGo is not an expert system, meaning that its algorithms could be used and applied to other things. Demis Hassabis, who was the co-creator of DeepMind, highlighted this in a Google blog. Quote, We are thrilled to have mastered Go and thus achieved one of the grand challenges of AI. However, the most significant aspect of all of this, for us, is that AlphaGo isn't just an expert system built on handcrafted rules. Instead, it uses general machine learning techniques to figure out for itself how to win Go. He goes on, Quote, because the methods we've used are general purpose, our hope is that one day they could be extended to help us address some of society's toughest and most pressing problems, from climate modeling to complex disease analysis." End quote. In other words, the algorithms that AlphaGo used to win Go could serve as a basis to be applied to very complex problems. If you want to know more about AlphaGo, hit the annotation now, or you can follow the link in the description. All right, so to bring this all together and summarize all that we've learnt, Let's recap. So what is AI? Commonly AI, or artificial intelligence, is a machine or a computer program that learns how to do tasks that require forms of intelligence and are usually done by humans. And the other thing to take away, intelligence comes in many forms and has many different aspects. At this time, we just have many different types of AIs that are good at particular subsets of intelligence. So anyway, I hope that clears things up, as a lot of people were confused about what AI actually is. So anyway, thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Cheers guys, this has been Dagogo, you've been watching Cold Fusion, and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Have a good one. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.